Hi, my name is Monica Diana Brooks. I'm an assistant professor of reading education at Texas State University. Today, I'm going to talk to you about my article in the Journal of Literacy Research. The article is entitled, She Doesn't Have the Basic Understanding of a Language, Using Spelling Research to Challenge Deficit Conceptualizations of Adolescent Bilinguals. The article contains a contextualized examination of the alternative English language spelling practices which are commonly referred to as misspellings of a high school student who is considered to be a long-term English learner. I focused on English spelling because of the unique role it plays in the lives of high school students that are classified as English learners. Namely, spelling is considered in making determinations about their English proficiency. Rather than relying on mainstream approaches to setting spelling and education, this study draws on a theoretical lens which is discussed in greater detail in the paper. Importantly, this lens incorporates orthography as a social practice and the rejection of idealized conceptions of bilingualism. The specific spelling practices upon which this article focuses were documented within eight in-class texts that the focal student composed for her sophomore English language arts class. In referring to this investigation of English language spelling as contextualized, I'm highlighting the fact that this is not a study that examines spelling in isolation. This study includes a detailed analysis of the focal student's linguistic and schooling history, which was based on data gathered from classroom observations, interviews, and school records. Importantly, the examination of her linguistic and schooling experiences informed the emergent codes that were used to analyze her spelling. The resulting findings document that the focal student was a simultaneous bilingual who had a troubled history with formal schooling, the place where many young people learn spelling conventions. The predominant practice that characterized her use of alternative spelling was her use of conventional English sound to letter relationships to create a written echo of the speech patterns of her home, school, and community. When her alternative spelling did not reflect these Englishes, they typically illustrated her familiarity with the normative spelling of particular words. Yet the practices that characterized her spelling meant that they strayed from accepted conventions. For example, she transposed adjacent letters or omitted a letter. These findings illustrate how English language spelling that diverges from accepted norms does not necessarily coincide with the lack of English proficiency. The focal student's alternative English language spelling practices actually illustrated the depth of her knowledge of multiple Englishes and her familiarity with the English writing system. In the published article, I go into greater detail about the findings and their implications for teachers teacher educators, and the broader educational community. I hope that this brief overview encourages you to check out the article and learn more. Thank you for listening.